Hello, my name is Kurt Dukoje. I am in fourth grade at Salem Hills Elementary. I learned about H2O for Life at my school. I remember watching an H2O for Life video about how girls need to get water because the school doesn't have any. I never knew this was happening. I thought everybody had what they needed. I was shocked by what I was seeing and I was sad because it was happening in Africa. I decided right then that I was going to get involved. I wanted to help. You see, my parents were born in Nigeria. Those people in the video are my people. That's my family tree. When you know people need help, you can't turn your back on them. You have to help. The best thing about H2O for Life is that they believe I can help. I'm only nine years old. I'm a kid. There are not many big organizations that rely on kids to make a difference. Because of H2O for Life, I help make life better and safer for others. I help pay for wells, I conserve water, I don't pollute water, and I have learned to respect water. Everybody's here because you know about H2O for Life. You know we have a water crisis, you know kids are dying from dirty water. You know kids have to walk hours to gather water. You know that girls drop out of school because they don't have proper bathrooms. Well, I'm not okay with that. I'm not gonna sit back and watch. I'd like you to think about this. What if you're in their position? Would you want someone to help you? It is so important to feel empathy for others. It is so important to take action and be a change maker. Don't wait. Sadly, kids die from contaminated water every day, every hour, every minute. But we can help put an end to those avoidable deaths by supporting H2O for Life. I thank H2O for Life for teaching me about the water crisis. But even more importantly, I am grateful that this organization has potential in kids like me. We are changing the world one drop at a time. Thank you. Courage is one example of the thousands of students who participate with H2O for Life and are inspired to take actions that change the world. I'm Patty Hall, founder of H2O for Life. Little did I know that one service learning project in my school would lead to the transformational work that H2O for Life has accomplished. More than a million youth have learned about the global water crisis and have learned that it's our responsibility to protect and conserve our water resources, and it's our humanity to help everyone in the world have access to a clean drink of water. During this pandemic year, we have realized the importance of washing our hands. Imagine if you couldn't wash your hands. Over a thousand schools around the world have received water sanitation and hygiene education due to the efforts of H2O for Life students. We have more work to do. We've created global curriculum and we've recently added a local curriculum called Water Guardians to educate kids to also take local actions. I'm so excited to introduce you to Gigi Bazaar, a middle-level educator at the Westridge School for Girls in Pasadena, California. In April, Gigi was honored by the National Youth Leadership Council as a National Service Learning Practitioner of the Year. Gigi's worked with us for over eight years and educated hundreds of students in their community about the global water crisis. During that time, her school has raised $100,000 for water, and she's also brought many schools to our doors. Thank you, and Gigi, take it away. My name is Gigi Bazaar, and I am a proud water warrior. For the past seven years at my school, Westridge School for Girls in Pasadena, California, I have run the Middle School Water Warriors Club. My journey with H2O for Life began in 2012 when our seventh grade team of teachers were about to conduct our third annual water unit. The water unit is an interdisciplinary unit where the teachers from English, history, math, and science classes collaborate to teach about the global water crisis. It was going to be our first year expanding our studies from local water rights to looking at the effects of the global water crisis. We had some lesson plans and ideas, but we did not have a service project, and we knew we had to have a service project. That fall, I was going to the National Council of Social Studies Conference in Seattle to find us a service project. My first day there, I met Patty Hall, and the rest, as they say, is history. The H2O for Life booth was colorful, and Patty and her team were vibrant and welcoming. After I learned what they did, it was a no-brainer. Our seventh graders were going to build a clean water well at a school in South Sudan. South Sudan was a new country at the time, and the schools there were made up of many people facing extreme poverty and were desperate for clean water. One thing I didn't know before I started on my water crusade was that in order to run a school, you need to have fresh water. 
When I returned from my trip to Seattle, I told my colleagues and my boss about the exciting endeavor we were about to embark on. The business office at my school warned me about asking parents and kids to donate money to a charitable cause, as it may deter them from donating to our annual fund. I didn't really listen to them because I knew that at any time there was a bake sale or some other kind of charitable fundraiser, people were more than happy to donate a few bucks, and I truly didn't believe that in our affluent community, these funds would take away from the school. The water well in South Sudan was going to cost $2,700, and we had six months to raise that money. We had an incredible time with the kids during our water unit that year, and when we told them about building that well, they were elated. That winter break, I got a call from six of my students saying they were baking goodies to sell at the local Trader Joe's in order to raise money for the well. John Cross, my colleague and fellow water warrior, came with me, and we watched in delight as our students educated the public on how long it takes girls and women in the developing world to procure water for their families. They told them that even after they would trek for up to six hours a day to get the water, that sometimes it would be so dirty that it would plague their communities with diseases. That day, they made $270, and those students became the first Westridge Water Warriors. We decided we would open our club to all middle schoolers and work to put on a fair late in the spring to raise the rest of the money for the well. We worked tirelessly with our little club of 20 kids to plan a fair. We had never planned a fair before, so we got very creative. We had a bouncy house, ice cream from our local shop, a smoothie booth, face painting, henna, all sorts of games, miniature ponies, and so much more. Our fair was a huge success, and our water warriors raised over $7,000. We built the water well at the school in South Sudan, and also we were able to build the trains and a water well at a school in Vietnam. Since then, our little club has raised over $100,000 and has helped to build over 23 clean water systems at schools throughout the world. Each year, we pick a few projects to fundraise for and spend our year hosting two major fundraisers. In the fall, we do the Waterfall Festival, where each water warrior makes a craft and bake good to sell. Every spring, we host a huge fair where we have fun crafts, games, activities, and amazing food. We also conduct a yearly raffle, which ends the day of the fair. We have been lucky to garner prizes like hotel stays, Disneyland and other theme park adventures, concert and sporting events, gift baskets, and so many more. We have presented at national conferences and are written up in local publications for our hard work and dedication. The students love to share their experience working as water warriors. This year, I even won the National Service Learning award for youth educators for my work with water warriors. I am so grateful. In 2018, my teaching and water warrior partner, John Cross, and I got the opportunity to take many of that first group of water warriors to Kenya. Patty Hall planned the trip and even came with us. Pro tip, if Patty ever invites you to go to Kenya with her, go. She's been over 20 times and knows many of the local people on the ground, not to mention has helped thousands of people in the country gain access to fresh water. The trip was life-changing, to say the least. We got to meet the kids at some of the schools we have donated money to build water systems at. The most exciting visit was to the Gikambura School, where we got to see the rain catchment tank, faucets, and latrines we built. There is nothing like seeing the kids turn on the faucet and see cool, clean water coming out. For these kids, that is the greatest gift of all time. Watching my middle school students get inspired to help the lives of people halfway across the world has been incredible. My students work hard to earn the money we raise. They make art, bake goods, solicit businesses, raise awareness, and spend countless hours of their own time dedicated to making the world a better place. My life has changed beyond measure since I partnered with H2O for Life in 2012. People on campus know me as the Water Lady. I like the title, and I will continue to work hard to help people get access to fresh water for as long as I live. H2O for Life has changed the lives of millions of students, teachers, and people across the globe. I recommend becoming a part of the magic and doing what you can to help get fresh water to every single human being. Hi, my name is Sydney and I'm in eighth grade and I've been a part of Westridge Water Warriors for two years now. One thing I absolutely love about it is being able to work alongside other members of the club and Miss Bazaar and the other co-heads to fundraise and solicit businesses for such a great cause. Um, I'm so grateful to be a part of it and most importantly, it's the impact and change that the accessibility of clean water and sanitation systems has on people's lives and schools and seeing the impact through photos and hearing it through stories is so incredible. I'm really happy I get to participate in such a meaningful program that changes lives for the better. Well, hello. Uh, my name is Morella, and I'm a fellow co-head for Water Warriors. 
So just a quick backstory, I joined Water Warriors halfway through last year and unlike everybody, I really did not know what I was doing, just that I was helping one way or another. Um, but what I've learned is that what matters is being committed and giving your all to the organization. So, and you can also take this motto with you everywhere in life, like in a project, at school, in a relationship, for an aspiration. And there's no wrong time to to like follow this motto because hey, it might even work out in the end for you and you'll probably have something to show for the time and work you've put in. Hi there, my name is Stephanie Chung. I'm an eighth grader at Western School for Girls and I'm one of the co-heads of our club, Water Warriors. I joined Water Warriors in seventh grade because I knew it would be an amazing opportunity for me to use the resources that I have to help others. And I'm so grateful to be fortunate enough to be in a position where I can thrive and help others to do the same. And helping people get clean water and granting them opportunities that they wouldn't otherwise get feels indescribable. And being a co-head during the pandemic has made the experience even more rewarding because it taught me that even during a pandemic, I can help others and lead others to do the same. I love being a water warrior and I wanna thank Ms. Bazaar and H2O for Life for making this all possible. My name is Tongri Chawa and I am a co-head of the Westridge Water Warriors this year. Um, so around two years ago, I really wanted to find an organization that I could work closely with um, because I realized that I was very privileged and I wanted to use that privilege in a way that I could be helping others who don't have that. And I realized that there weren't a lot of opportunities for kids to get involved in those kind of things. And when I saw an opening for Water Warriors in seventh grade, I realized that that was sort of the perfect thing for me because I saw the kind of tangible change that had occurred since Water Warriors started. And um, Ms. Bazaar, our amazing leader and founder, um, showed us photos in the beginning of the club of how these little girls were holding up signs that said, thank you, Westridge. And I think that was the moment where I realized this was something that I really want to commit to because I saw the kind of difference that it made to people's lives. And everyone tells us that water is super essential to human life, yet so many people don't have access to it. And that was a very simple way of making my own difference in my own community. So I'm really proud to be a part of it and I hope to continue to do so. My name is Alice Chilton. I am an eighth grader and another co-head of the Westridge Water Warriors. I started in the beginning of seventh grade expecting to bond with classmates and raise money for our amazing cause. But along the way, I was also able to learn more about the water crisis and support women around the world. When the pandemic hit, I couldn't imagine how we were going to get enough support during such a strange time. But the community grew and simple posts on Facebook were enough to raise hundreds of dollars. It's been so incredible to work with my peers and Ms. Bazaar and use our resources to help build wells for communities in need. Thank you. After several months of searching for the next executive director for H2O for Life, I'm excited to introduce you to Doug Nimala. Doug is an innovative leader who comes to us with many years of nonprofit experience. He was a leader in the Clean Water, Land, and Legacy Amendment, as well as spent many years working to save the Boundary Waters. Please welcome Doug. Well, hello. Thank you so much, Patty, for that warm introduction. Uh, my name again is Doug Nimala. I am so very, very excited to be the new executive director here at H2O for Life. As we look forward, I like to think about what's going on in our world uh, in these trying times. We are entering a new world. This is gonna be an opportunity for us to move forward in new ways, not just here in our own community, but also abroad and working with the schools that we are so lucky and to be able to assist in our WASH programs. But also we need to be honoring the folks that have come before and the work that has been done here uh, at this organization in the past while looking ahead and planning to the future. Um, we are gonna be moving forward in this organization with a sense of curiosity, excitement, and exploration, uh, but also with an understanding of gratitude and humility in our our hearts for the work that's being done and for the huge charge that is being put in front of us today. So again, I am very, very excited to be here uh, working with this organization and to be leading H2O for Life because H2O is life. Thank you.
our friends attending H2O for Life's Spring Splash event. Our names are Humphrey. I'm Catherine. And I'm Emma. And together we lead the water projects work in Western Kenya and are proud partners of H2O for Life. Water is a big challenge in Western Kenya, especially at schools. So many children do not have the luxury of having even a cup of clean water every day at school. So many of them have to break uh, class sessions just to go work uh, several miles away in search of clean water. They go to unprotected water sources like unprotected springs in the community and uh, uh, streams that are running that are fully contaminated. And at the end of the day, when they come back to school, they are so tired and frail. They cannot even concentrate in class simply because they waste a lot of time in search of water. Thank you, H2O for Life, for partnering with us. Many schools right now have access to clean and safe water because of the support that you have accorded unto us. Right now, we are at a Muslim primary school in Kakamega, a school that has benefited from the support you have already given unto us. This school right now is able to access to clean water, uh, clean toilets, and of course, they have a number of hand washing stations, which of course was a great support that we received from H2O. These schools were and are better prepared for COVID-19 because of your support, H2O for Life. There are many schools that uh, need your support and your giving will help us reach so many schools so that they can also be able to access clean and safe drinking water. Your donations are changing lives of so many children in Western Kenya. You are putting smiles and joy into, this, into so many faces here in Western Kenya. We can't do this work without you. And together we say, thank you H2O for life. H2O for Life has shown me the importance of water conservation. Before I was involved with the organization, I took the easy accessibility of water for granted. I am fortunate enough to live in a place where I can simply turn on the faucet and clean water comes out. I now understand because of my work with H2O that so many communities around the world do not have the simple luxury of being able to turn on a faucet and clean water comes out. H2O for Life has helped me become aware of global health disparities and the key role that water plays in perpetuating these inequalities. Water scarcity is a critical issue in the world and it needs to be addressed. H2O for Life has made me realize that change starts on the individual level. I became aware of this issue when Sydney and I first became involved in H2O for Life and we organized Walks for Water in our community to help raise awareness about the global water crisis. My experience with H2O for Life was both fun and gratifying. I had a wonderful time doing the Walk for Water with um, my classmates and it was overall just a really great experience. Overall, the funds raised from the walks went to schools in Uganda and Cambodia to implement sustainable wells, latrines, hand washing stations, and hygiene education programs. Without access to water, children, especially girls, are able to spend more time in school instead of having to walk so many miles to collect dirty water. They got to see the effects of all the hard work that we put in for every project that we did. H2 of Life helps us turn these into this. We've been weaving potholders for 12 years. Our work with H2O for Life has enabled us to bring water to school communities in Ethiopia, Nicaragua, Haiti, Malawi, Kenya, Jodhpur, and our current project, the Navajo Nation of New Mexico. I went volunteering with H2O for Life staff and went into our local schools and showed students simple conservation tricks like a shower timer or turning off the faucet when they brush their teeth. These simple actions empower our youth to implement conservation steps in their own lives, which ultimately helps us get one step closer to solving the global water crisis. I hope to continue to learn about how water availability impacts health and work towards solutions that solve the global water crisis. We couldn't have done it without the amazing team at H2O for Life. I'm glad that I've gotten the opportunity to work with them in the past, and I honestly can't wait to work with them again in the future. And I hope that I'm able to work with H2O for Life again in the future. Thank you so much, H2O for Life. Hi, I'm Kate Booth, board chair of H2O for Life. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'd like to start by thanking our sponsors. Abdo, Ike, and Myers, Bomb Guard, Brent, Criminal Defense, Homelight, Mid-Country Bank, 
and Midway Container. I continue to be in awe of what our teachers, students, and NGO partners are achieving. I remain inspired about what our youth have accomplished around the world. I'm excited to tell you today that we have a matching gift of $10,000. You really can put your money to work. And now I'm going to tell you how. You can text H20 to 56651 at any time, now or after the program. If you have joined us by computer or laptop, you can click Donate at the top of your screen. Many thanks to all of you for joining us today, and we look forward to our partnerships in the future. Now, take some time to enjoy Faces from Home and Around the World. We are changing lives. Hey everybody, um, I wrote a little rap slash poem about how I feel about H2O for life. All right, here we go. Service learning, saving lives when kids helping kids, it really jives all over the world, bringing water so clean. Kids helping kids, build a new scene, no more walking for water. Girls now go to school, put down the bucket now, isn't that cool? H2O for life is something I love, clean water for all and learning new things. Help us out and you'll have a ball.